In the vastness of human knowledge and the mysteries it attempts to unravel, some narratives challenge our traditional understanding of the world and the universe. One such account is contained in a controversial set of studies and stories known as the Terra Papers. ProStar is a collection of writings by Robert Morning Sky, which he collected while researching an ancient story about the Star Elder told by his grandfather. The collection presents an alternative history of Earth and humanity that is fascinating as it is controversial. These documents reveal a cosmic scale narrative that suggests that we know about our planet and its inhabitants is deeply intertwined with extraterrestrial beings and ancient galactic empires. From the dawn of our planet to the evolution of humanity, the Terra Papers offer a narrative that is a starkly different from what we learn from history books. They suggest that our world is not what it seems and that forces beyond our understanding have determined the course of our history. The Terra Papers spark heated debate and speculation, with readers torn apart from skepticism and belief. The writing is the intersection of history, mythology, ufology, and conspiracy theory, challenging us to question our understanding of reality. In this video, we will delve deeper into the fascinating world of the Terra Papers, exploring the extraordinary claims they contain, the man behind them, and the various theories and conspiracies surrounding them. Welcome to Consciousness Podcast, where we dive deep into the mysteries and the esoteric knowledge. Check out our main channel Consciousness for the video versions of all our episodes. The man behind the Terra Papers is as intriguing as the narrative he presents. Robert Morning Sky is of Apache and Hopi descent. He is not just an author, but a storyteller, a researcher, and a man on a mission to share a story that he believes has been hidden from humanity. Morning Sky's journey into the world of Terra Papers begins with a remarkable family story. According to him, his grandfather was among a group of Native Americans who in 1947 came across a crass spacecraft in the Arizona desert. From the wreckage, they rescued an alien creature that survived the crash, which they named Star Elder. The Star Elder, as Morning Sky recounts, shares with him stories of space wars, ancient galactic empires, and the secret history of Earth and humanity. These stories passed down to Sky by his grandfather formed the basis of the Terra Papers. Sky's background and the source of his information add further fascination to the Terra Papers. He claims questions not only our understanding of history, but also our perceptions of knowledge and truth. They blur the lines between myth and reality, between what we know and what we believe. The Terra Papers, A Journey Through Time and Space According to the notes, the history of our universe is a saga of space wars and ancient galactic empires. The book tells the story of the SSS Empire, a reptilian race known for its warfare and mind control prowess. Also mentioned is the ASA RRR Empire, a race of mammals known for their ruthlessness and expansionism. These empires have had an impact on the course of events on Earth and the evolution of humanity. The narrative also presents Earth as a planet of considerable interest to those alien empires. From a barren rock in space, Earth, or Terra as it is called in the notes, is transformed into a thriving planet, a transformation that is assumed to be the result of extraterrestrial intervention. The book, which is based on Sky's notes and research, also suggests that these extraterrestrial beings have influenced the evolution of humanity. Studies suggest that these beings have been both our gods and our devils, guiding us, manipulating us, and shaping our history in ways we still don't fully understand. This alternative history of the universe challenges our traditional understanding of our world and our place in the cosmos. One of the most surprising claims made in the Terra Papers is that Earth, our home, is actually a prison planet. This concept is radical as it is intriguing, suggests that humanity's existence and evolution have been influenced by forces beyond our understanding. According to the papers, Earth has been turned into a prison planet by the SSS Empire. 
This transformation was part of a large cosmic conflict in which Earth and humanity were the prize. The narrative states that the SSS Empire has created a system of control over Earth, manipulating in the evolution of humanity and directing the course of our history. It is said that this system of control still exists, with the SSS Empire continuing to influence events on Earth behind the scenes. This statement presents a radical new interpretation of human history and our place in the universe. It suggests that our understanding of the world and our ourselves is incomplete and that there are forces that play that we do not yet fully understand. Another intriguing aspect is the allegation of a ruling elite with extraterrestrial origins or connections. This elite, the narrative goes, manipulates events on Earth. The Terra Papers suggest that the selected rulers are a product of the SSS Empire's control of Earth. They are presented as mediators between extraterrestrial empires and humanity, carrying out the will of those empires on Earth. This ruling elite, the narrative suggests, holds key positions in the various aspects of human society, including governmental, military, and religious institutions. Through these posts, they can influence events on Earth, directing the course of human history in accordance with the plans of extraterrestrial rulers. While the Terra Papers are most often discussed in the context of the extraterrestrial claims and alternative history, they also contain a great wealth of spiritual and metaphysical ideas. The narrative suggests that the extraterrestrial beings described in the documents are not only physical, but also spiritual, with a deep understanding of the metaphysical aspects of existence. They have shared some of this knowledge with humanity, influencing our spiritual beliefs and practices. The Terra Papers present a universe that is not only physical, but also spiritual. They suggest that our existence is not only physical, but also a spiritual journey and that our evolution is not only biological, but also spiritual. The story also explores the concept of consciousness, suggesting that it is a fundamental aspect of the universe. All beings, including humans, are part of the universal consciousness, and our individual consciousness are expressions of that universal consciousness. The man behind the documents, Robert Morning Sky. Robert Morning Sky grew up with the stories and traditions of his ancestors. He begins his extraordinary journey in search of evidence for a story related to family history. This story would later become the basis of his work. Morning Sky's culture background and upbringing significantly shaped his perspective and approach to the information presented in the Terra Papers. His understanding of Native American traditions and spirituality gives him a unique lens through which to interpret and present this information. One of the most fascinating aspects of Sky's story is the undoubtedly the claim that the information in the Terra Papers came from an extraterrestrial being. In addition to the Terra Papers, Morning Sky also writes other works and shares ideas that address similar topics. These include discussions of extraterrestrials, alternative histories, and spiritual and metaphysical concepts. Morning's works present a holistic view of reality, integrating physical and spiritual aspects and exploring the connections between humanity and the cosmos. His ideas challenge conventional wisdom and invite readers to question, wander, and seek a deeper understanding of our world and the universe. Alternative Theories and Interpretations the extraordinary claims and conflicting accounts regarded in the pages of the Terra Papers have given rise to many alternative theories and interpretations. These theories are as varied as they are intriguing. They offer different perspectives on the information presented in the book. Some theorists suggest that the Terra Papers are a form of science fiction, a creative exploration of extraterrestrial life and space history. They suggest that the narrative while not literally true, represents a metaphorical exploration of human existence and the universe. Other theories propose that the writings are a form of spiritual or metaphysical teaching, presenting truths about the nature of reality and consciousness in the form of an extraterrestrial narrative. They suggest that the documents should be interpreted not only literally, but also symbolically and spiritually. 
Still, others oppose that they are a form of misinformation, a deliberate attempt to mislead or confuse. It is hypothesized that the documents are part of a larger conspiracy to divert attention from the real truths confirming extraterrestrial life and human history. The major strands of science and history, based on empirical evidence and rigorous mythology, present a perspective on the universe and human history that is fundamentally different from the narrative in the Terra Papers. They offer a universe that is vast and complex, but also comprehensible through observation, experimentation, and logical reasoning. The Terra Papers, on the other hand, offer a universe that is not only physical, but also spiritual and metaphysical. They suggest that human history has been influenced by extraterrestrial beings and cosmic forces, ideas that challenge conventional wisdom. One of the most famous conspiracy theories is that of a ruling elite that manipulates world events. According to this theory, the SSS Empire created a system of control over Earth, using individuals in key positions to carry out their plans. They hold important positions in various aspects of human society, including governmental, military, and religious institutions. This theory suggests that many of the major events in human history were orchestrated by these very people, from wars and revolutions to technological advances and culture changes. The theory suggests that our understanding of history is incomplete and that there are hidden forces at work in that we do not yet fully understand. Despite the extraordinary claims and controversial narrative of the papers, they have received relatively little attention from the mainstream media and academia. The lack of attention on the part of the mass public is a cause for controversy and speculation among the book's readers and followers. One hypothesis suggests that the lack of mainstream attention is due to the radical nature of the claims. The narrative's departure from established scientific and historical understandings make it difficult for many people to accept. Because of this, it's often dismissed as marginal or pseudoscientific. Other assumptions about the lack of attention on the part of the dominant perception and understanding are that it is the result of a deliberate suppression. According to this theory, the ruling elite mentioned in the papers have influenced over the mainstream media and academia and use this to suppress information that might threaten established control. It is also possible that the lack of attention on the other hand is due to the complexity and contradictory nature of the Terra documents. The narrative challenges many deeply held beliefs and assumptions, making it difficult for many to engage with. Whatever the reasons, the lack of mainstream consumer attention to the work heightens its intriguing and controversy. It is important to note that, in the end, the Terra Papers present a narrative that is fascinating as it is difficult to verify. Claims of ancient galactic empires, extraterrestrial influence on human history, and a ruling elite manipulating world events an extraordinary and challenging our traditional understanding of reality. The difficulty of verifying these claims contributes significantly to the controversial nature of the work. Without empirical evidence or a clear method of verification, narrative exists in the space wandering between fact and fiction, between what we know and what we believe. Some readers accept the narrative as truth by referring to their personal faith and spiritual insights, or the coincidence of the narrative with their own experiences and understandings. Others, however, demand evidence arguing that the extraordinary claims need extraordinary evidence. What is your opinion, myth or reality? Share with us in a comment. If you're interested in watching a video version of these episodes, we encourage you to subscribe to our main channel, Consciousness. There, you'll find video versions of all our podcasts, as well as other thought-provoking content. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.